What's the world, you gangs, your boys, you wavy six? As you can see, I don't got to tell you enough. I already told you it was coming with the color. So, you know what I'm saying? I just want to show you guys the new color that I have. I told you it was coming with a blue. Um, blue is one of my favorite ones, so. I just finished out uh, dyeing my hair. My, my girl did it for me. I hope you guys like it. Right now I'm doing wash the style. So this is the best time for me to comb it. I did a two-tone once again, a little black in the bottom, the blue on top, just to do something different, you know. I already um, took the color out, so I had to wait for like half an hour. You see I still got blue water coming out, so you're gonna see that in the washing style. So, let me see if I could do the best I can to show you. The color still coming out, so I'm gonna have to go day clean after this. Okay, the product I'm using, as you guys know, I love um cocoa oil. I'm using for shampoo. So I'm using this product right here. This is a good product. You know what I'm saying? It's it's good. It works. I've been rocking with it for like a year. As you can see the blue color on my, my fingers, fingertips, my nails. I just finished um, washing the color out. I'm not lying about it, I'm doing it. Um, so I'm using CQP, meeting hard. For the tangle brush, I'm using a Diane plastic. You could cap this at any beauty supplies. Um, this you could cap to any beauty supplies. The same as this, I bought this on Walmart. So let's begin the washing style. I'm gonna give you this one washing. I always do that. So what I'm gonna do to first, let me see. I'm gonna damn my, my brush a little bit, a little bit of water. Just a little damp, you know, to get those bristles a little soft. I always like doing this. Um. I always like to put a little bit of shampoo in the brush. I'm saying just to get the starting lather. After that, I let it sink there. Apply a little bit in my hair. I will use the mirror. So I like to see where I put in my shampoo. And I do two washes styles. If this one goes good and I get the lather. I don't mind. We'll do the washing style there. Oh, my towel. My towel is getting that blue color. Oh, man. As you can see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a second washing style because it's still, still dripping too much on. Blue, so I'm just gonna take the opportunity to do a little massage. I don't do this every day, I do this weekly, so I, I like to take advantage and scratch the hell out of my head. Ooh, that was good. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash my hair, so I'll be back. Be back, second wash. It looks cleaner than the first one. Let me do, hopefully this one gave us the main key to Pro Z with the brush section. So, I don't see no blue coming out. I see lava coming up. Yep, it looks like this is the one. So since this is the one, what I like to do, 
like to do the tangle wash. And just do like a brush section, like you really brushing your hair, you know what I'm saying? Of course I'm brushing my hair, but you know what I mean? You brush your, your powder, the same you always brush. And always change your hands. And look at the lather in blue. Everything's ready to tangle, so ready to tangle. So what I do is uh, I'm gonna put this in the tub. I'm gonna clean it. Just rinse it out. I'd rather keep it clean. I'm gonna put the oil, cause this is the second wash. This is how I do my washing styles. I will when I put the door rack on, you know. Already got oil in my hair. And just in case I forget. Yeah, you might still put in a little extra, but you do washing styles. The oil goes away. Look like I'm bleeding, right? It's gonna be a problem with this. Look at my louder. But this is what I do for my subscribers, man. Thanks to you guys, you know. I passed the 1,000 subscribers, so. I gotta keep dropping videos for you guys, so. I don't mind doing it. I love having this um, type of videos. Keep me entertained and I help my subscribers. That's what counts. If you don't see, I don't got a lot of lathers because uh, of course you already see. Just finished dyeing my hair. So I took the opportunity right here to do the video. It's kind of uncomfortable. Kind of uncomfortable because at the same time, you know, you finish dyeing your hair and at the same time, the color is still coming out. So you gotta focus on the product, you gotta focus on the waves, the chemical coming out, trying to get on your head. By the way, this is a medium, medium hard brush. Okay, that's why I'm not pushing really hard down. I don't want to scratch my scalp. And when you scratch your scalp, it's going to be hard for you to brush it because it hurts. You see my crown? I take my time. It's really hard there. It's real sensitive. This brush is hard. It might look soft, but it's not. You see the way I'm brushing? I'm not even pushing hard. And look. Not even pushing hard, look how I'm brushing the hair. Remember when your hair is wet, it's easy to play with. That's why I always tell you guys, 
when you're doing a washing style, it's the best time for you to fix your forks. And correct anything you want to fix, including forks, your powder. It's the best time, man, because the hair is fragile. And it's like this. And at the same time, you could create a fork. Since the, the, your hair is super wet, it's easy to move. That's why you gotta do washing style easy. You see, you gotta take your time. Be patient. You see how I'm brushing? Be patient, just flow with your pattern. Just flow with it. I'm trying to do that rough. Just follow your angles. Follow your angles, normal. You'll be all right. It hurts a little bit with my crown because I was doing a section earlier. And I was brushing for like an hour. I did a live. I did a live. I went YouTube live. I was streaming. And I brushed for like an hour. So I feel, I feel the, in my crown, I feel the bristles out. I was doing it hard, so. You don't have to stay here brushing, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. The main key is to clean your hair, do a small section of your pattern and correct your forks, but you don't have to brush for too long. It's whatever is necessary. You wanna brush for long, that's cool, but I don't brush for long. Me personally, I don't brush for long washing styles. Working on my crown right here. Every time you get a little lather, put it here, because the, la the, la the lather help you out to keep your hair down, so your head won't freeze up. That's one of the main reasons the lather is good. I don't like a lot of lather, because the lather uh, blocks my brush and sections, but the lather is good and bad at the same time. It's good to keep your waves down, but it's bad sometimes because it could, it could block you when you're brushing or angle, it could create a fork. It happened to me. See, just brush slowly. Don't force it. Just let the brush do his work. That's why it's there for. Take your time with it. Look, I'm not even forcing the brush. I'm not pushing down. Just put it in there and just let the brush do his job. You just gotta aim it. Wherever you want the brush to go, just aim it. Boom. Back angle. That should be it. I'm going with that. Up to this right here. I just do um a brushing with my hands and that should be it. So 
using this lather, putting this down. I'm going to rag up, wash this stuff with my hands. Right here, I'll make sure everything has a little bit of lather on it. Make sure you seal that crown. Looks good to me. Putting everything on top. Whatever you got left, just put it on top. And then just let's, let it sit here. Brush the tip right here. Your front. Make sure everything is laid down. Boom, boom, boom. After that, remember, you gotta pull your, your crown patches. This thing gonna look blue tomorrow. Put on your crown. You know what I'm saying? This patch is gonna look like a new, a new, a new patch that I got. On top of that, I double compress. Seal, double compression. Then the big bat boy right here. This is the main guy. This is the man to hold everything down. Everything you do, this man hold it for you. It's like your safe box. Make sure you snug the door right. Make sure you always leave a, a, a gap in between so you so you won't dig. Tell you right now. The reason why I put the door right the way I'm doing it, make sure you always tie it on the back. So you take uh, the tension, you see, so you will you won't so you wanna avoid get that line before it. So all the tension is off, you see? And hold the front and pull the back. So you, that way you won't pull your waist back. Hold it, pull the sides, go back to the back again. So you want everything to, you know, lay down, not to get pulled back. And then you play with it like this, you know, you adjust it. Make sure everything, everything is snug. Make sure everything is right. I'm not gonna tie it because I'm, I'm taking a shower. So I'm gonna rinse this and the rest. You already know it's down my hair. We're going to a new journey. I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. It's your boy, your baby six, and you know, you know, I'm out of here. I'm gonna close the window for you guys. I let the TV do the job for me.
I'll see you guys later.